Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back. I'm going to do a picture in the Fairy Celebrations by Carla Makova. And I picked um, this little page here. We've got the uh, frog here playing and some music and the two snails singing. And I think they're doing a lullaby for the little gal down here who's taking a nap on the candies. And this is going to take a couple of days to um, get finished, so I don't think it's all going to be done in one picture. Now one of the things I did, and I'm going to clip this page down because it's going to fall forward. So sorry about that. I did a few little alterations to the um, frog. If you notice, it doesn't look like the one that is in your page. It had a line across here, and I just took my Posca pen and um, whited out the line that was there. Um, there was a line down here and a line here, and the feet. I kind of changed a few things. Okay, and then I went in with a pencil, and then I went in with this um, 005, added the little dots and such, and I'm going to do some right here. It's just a tiny little point, and then you can blend in the area that I went over. We're going to also color on top of it so you won't notice it as much. So what I ended up doing was I extended the neck out a little bit further because it had come in and was more of a round head and I wanted the frog to have a little bit more uh, coming down here on his neck. I also extended his um, chubbiness <laughs> because frogs are kind of fat out into the back here. So it was against his arm and I brought it out underneath the um, antenna of this little snail here and a little bit further out on the back. I also got rid of uh, the line that was up here and the line that could here, shortened his leg up a little bit and redrew this line. I'm going to shorten up this one just a tiny bit but I also did the uh, toes and elongated this toe here. So just again with the um, Posca pen drew around the circle there. So we have to put a little more shading underneath this toe that I added. So we're just going to add in the dots like she, uh, the author or illustrator did. So that is the only changes I did on this picture just to make the frog a little wider. I guess. <laughs> so I wanted you to know that in case you are following along and wondered why my frog looks a little different from your frog. Um, the only other thing I did was kind of give this guy a little uh, smile on his uh, open mouth while he's singing and just kind of elongated that one just a tiny bit. So that is it for my changing on here and the rest of it's all going to be colored. So I'm going to do is lower the camera and get out some pencils. So hold on a minute. Okay, we're down a little farther. And one of the other things that's bothering me about the frog is his eye. Only because frogs have unique eyes. So I was going to take the Posca pen, kind of show you how I'm going to change um, this also. So I'm going to kind of make a a circle down here and then bring it out both sides. And then we're going to color in the bottom portion, leaving a little bit of a line there. If I can get down close enough, I'll make it a tiny line. You don't have to do this part. <laughs> it's just I want you to see what I'm doing if I change a piece of the picture. Okay, and then the top half, we're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to make a line and go up and leave a little line up there. I 
I'm going to have to go over that a few times. Also, if I want it bigger, I can go in with the um, black and make that a little bit bigger. Same over here. We're going to take a little bit of that out. And make it more like a froggy. So like I said, I'll have to go over it a few times to get it to blend in. And like I also said, if I wanted to just a little bit bigger, a little cleaner here. Make it match a little bit better. Just go over it with a pen. And then we're changes, but <laughs> I gotta let that dry. We'll get back to the frog. We're gonna start off with this little uh, snail here who's singing his little heart out. And he's, uh, these are just adorable, sorry. <laughs> I will um, get the pencils out. I'm trying to decide what color or kind of pencils I wanna use. So I guess I um, usually just go with what's on my desk. I've got Prismacolors out. And I have a brownish color here. Looks like I've got mostly pinks. The terracotta. Hold on a bit. All right, I pulled out a few of the black widows for the shells of the snails, and they're all going to be done kind of the same way. So we'll do this dude here first. And I pulled out. Um, can I try to get their names up so you can see them? Do do. These are a lot of the skins set. So we have rushed. Rust, <laughs> washed purple, carrot, mud, swain, suede, um, sunburst, and nigira, which is a nice brown color. Um, mud is the sec uh, the darkest one we have here, so we're gonna kind of go in the browns with a little bit of orange, tiny bit of purple for a highlight, and we're gonna work on this shell here. So we're gonna go with the darkest color first. And that is going to be mud. And we're going to put the darkest color down in here. Hopefully you can see this. So just using a soft uh, pressure on this. And the more you go over it, the darker it'll be. We want it dark on both sides here, so I'll put some of this on the other side. And down in under the flower here, shadowing. So how are you all doing? Getting close to the weekend here. No, we don't have any plans. <laughs> I gotta go shopping later today. My husband has a baby shower at work, so we get to go shopping for little baby boy clothes. So it's fun. On the weekend, we have a party to go to, so I should probably shop for that too while I'm out and about. Our weather has changed for the nice. It's not cold, cold anymore, which is wonderful. Uh, the sun is out today, so always a good time to go shopping when <laughs> the sun's out. This a little dark on this side too.
to follow those lines inward a little bit. Okay, the next darker brown or next brownish tone. the rest so do you have any plans this weekend you know it's uh, Valentine's Day coming up. I usually cook my husband a special dinner. We don't usually go out or anything, so. It's whatever he feels like he hasn't gotten lately. <laughs> whatever I ask. What is your favorite meal you want this time? And I'll give him that. I'm going with the um, washed purple. Burst. That'll be our highlight here in the center of his shell. back in with this one. Put a little more pressure on it. I 
I was watching um, a video over the last couple of days, all the uh, very videos, I should say, going over them. And I ran into a, a new gal that I had not seen before. It's always fun when you find a new artist or colorist. These are her combinations she used on a um, fairy she did. And she was doing it all in sepia tones. And I thought these colors would work really well on a snail shell. So I will leave a link down to her channel. And you can watch what she does. She just works magic with her her colorings. She has a Facebook group and everything you can follow too. I'm gonna darken it up a little bit right in that seam it goes down and comes up. I'll go back in with the washed purple. Just darken that up. Pull some of that out too. Back in with mud. Put medium pressure on this. Want it darker on the bottom here. This is a, um, like a paper, uh, it's a blender, but it's for blending like chalks and stuff. And I'm just going to run that on there too. And just pull those colors around a little bit more. I think we started or we have some of that in there. If we don't, we're going to add it. Let's see, I need to 
think I need another darker color here. So we're going to bring in <laughs> Chocotone. And I'm going to turn the book a little bit. There we go. Get a brush and dust off the little crumbs we're getting here. I want to get a little browner, so I'm just going to go over everything really lightly with this. This is Midnight. No, she didn't use these colors, so these are just mine pulling out. I want to get it a little darker there. Gonna bring in a little vintage photo distress ink just because I want to. <laughs> a little, I think this is called a mini distress tool. I'm just gonna put a little on there. Go right where it's the darkest here and kind of go around. Pull it in towards the center, but keeping it on that line. Okay, do the same on this side. A little on the back. 
Okay. We take some on this side. Bring it over. A little there. Okay, that's going to take a little while to dry because we are on a wax base that pencil. But it's not going to smear if you don't, or if you're not going to run your hand over it right now. I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of, um, it's walnut stain. It's a, just a darker brown. So we'll stick it down here, not so red. I said I wanted the base down here a little darker, so just going to add it down here on the bottom half of the shell. And there we go. That is how these guys over here are going to look, too. And yeah, we're going to put the pencils down first, then we're going to put the ink down on it. We're going to do the um, little body here. Okay, I'm going to bring in some pink. So I have um, blush and pretty pink. We're going to add that down on the base here. We have a little ruffle that he's going up. I guess that you call that his foot. And we're going to add that coming up. This is the um, pretty pink. Go in with the blush. Very, very soft color. These are still the skin tones. We're going to go in with some cinnamon.
Okay, then we're going to go in with a lighter color. Um, bring in some green with this. It's an olive brown. Just going to go over all the colors here. in with the cinnamon. Just darken where you want it darker. Blend it into the greener color. Bring it in from the shell. And we will bring in a little bit of Nigra. I'm not comfortable saying the name, so I'm just going to show you the pencil name of that one. Love the color, though. <laughs>
Okay. I'm going to throw a tiny bit of the carrot in here. And we're gonna throw in some of the washed purple. I'm gonna dust it off first. Just gonna put this in the darkest areas that I wanna shadow in. back in with the rest. Kind of just blend all this together. pink under her eye here. That's the, um, sorry, blush. Bring in a little bit more of the, uh, let's see, cinnamon here, I guess. Let's be a little darker here. that off again and we're going to bring in a blender for that. I know there's a lot of layers on it but I want it a little more blended than it is. My blender is really dirty. <laughs> there we go. This is the Karen Dash blending stick. It's tiny but I mean that's what it is. And we're just going to use that to blend it colors in here just a wee bit better Turn off the lights and let you see what that looks like. I think he looks kind of cute. She looks kind of cute. She's got a flower on her. <laughs> Might add a little tiny bit of the um, sunburst in there just to lighten up some areas here. I mean, she doesn't have enough color in her, right? 
just add a little bit here and there. While we're here, we're also going to put in little white dots. That's just a white Posca pen where her little dots are here. These are just the little details we'll be putting in. A couple around your eye. And then we'll add some black detail in there. something with her shell. I'm just not quite sure yet. So the detail in her eyes we will do with the um, 0 0.005. Can you see that? Probably not. There we go. And um, it's the micron pen because she's got a tiny little eye here. So we're going to go over her eyelid and give her some tiny little eyelashes. Okay. I'll be able to see that a little better <laughs> when I can get down that far. But that's what we've got so far. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do before I call this video part one is I'm going to go around to all the little um, flames we have here. I'm going to go in with the same skin tone, the sunburst, but I grabbed a Black Widow lemonade. Okay, and I'm just going to go around in a kind of a glowy atmosphere around the flames. There are three of these down here. So we're going to go in with the um, sunset first. And we're just going to kind of glow it around out here. And anything out here is going to get a little bit of that yellow out and about. So if there's a, a leaf coming out here, we're going to add a little of that in there too. Okay, it's not going to get too much from under the side because this is, you know, underside. So we're going to add a little in this one. I'm going to touch this leaf, that leaf, probably a little bit of this candy wrapper. We'll get a little in her hair over on this side. So we'll add that in. It's going to go around all three of them. Um, get this one down here. Anything that's out here, like this mushroom, this candy, grass here, maybe this little guy, and this little tip here. Just kind of add it in. It's not going to go terribly far, but 
just want to get that down. The laminate is a little lighter, so we're just going to bring that color out a little bit. Just a rough putting in color. You can add a little orange to that, which is your carrot if you want to, just lightly. So we get a little glow going around that flame. And make sure you get that blended in. And there we go. So we got the glow going and we got our little snail going. I'm not going to do the flower until I do the other flowers that are on the page. I'm not sure what they're going to be. I don't mind that there's a little brown in there. That's probably the Distress ink. If it is, it will um, blend in with the idea that I have of going around and turning those petals white on the outside. And then I'll just mix in really nicely for a shadow on that side. So that's going to be it for part one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in part two. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe, hit the like button, ring the little bell for notifications for the next part. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye now.